I didn't go anywhere, folks. So we have completed 103 miniatures. And uh, in fact, as you can see from the title of this video, I have already begun another batch of 100. Uh, I just want to do this video. I'm going to kind of comment on the process, show you some of the miniatures, and then I will do some uh, 360s of some of the ones that were completed. But before we do that, I guess the first thing I want to say is I want to thank everybody that supported me and encouraged me. There was even a few people that said they were going to start their own little challenges. And so uh, that really helped. That really made a difference. It kind of kept me going, knowing people were out there uh, <laughs> depending on me to have to make a good showing. Uh, I also enjoy doing the uh, shorts. Uh, you know, ever since the shorts have come out, everybody that has a channel has been trying to think of a way to incorporate them, you know, into our regular content. And I thought that was a very good uh, format for using shorts. And I mean, a lot of my shorts got <laughs> got three times the views that I, I normally get. Some of them got 10 times the views I normally get on a regular video. Uh, even though I think a few people might have clicked on them and not realized what was going on just because of the titles. But still, it was hopefully it introduced some more people to our little world of miniature wargaming. So I really enjoyed doing the shorts. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it with this second batch because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to just kind of dedicate, you know, the whole weekend to it like I did that. I mean, pretty much that whole weekend, I mean, I was just painting. I mean, there was a few times I did have to get up and leave. But I was up till three, four in the morning, just about every night of that weekend. And I'm just now kind of getting my uh, my sleep schedule back to normal. I think I got up at 10 a.m. today, whereas before I was getting up like at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. But I mean, I was enjoying it. I mean, I was enjoying it because you know I was averaging anywhere from 10 to 12 miniatures a night. And that was after that kind of initial 40 miniatures. So I think by Monday, I was at 65, maybe 62 miniatures, but it was still a ways off. And, you know, I, I did slow because uh, as the miniatures got more detailed, it became harder to do just lots of them. And then plus, I just kind of wanted to put a little more into some of the miniatures I was doing because I didn't want to have to go back too much. Now, I will say a lot of these I will have to go back uh, as you can see, a lot of them, the bases, the bases are not completed. You know, some of these I didn't even bother to do the bases at all. And that's common for me uh, when I'm doing these challenges because I can sit down and do all these bases in one day. You know, I'll have to paint out, I'll have to flock out uh, some extra materials. So it, it makes more sense uh, when you're doing this to do them all at once. Unless it's just certain ones that you have some special ideals for. So like for these guys, you know, I wanted to make them look like they were in an urban environment. And so I had that kind of rock, uh, brick looking colored rock. So I just did them. Uh, I did them uh, as soon as I uh, got done. There was another one here. So he has this kind of predator jungle base. That was another one I felt that it was important to... Uh, to just get done, right? To just kind of do the base the way I envision it. Like I said, some of these you will see in a, a turnaround. I'm not going to do 360s on each individual miniature, but I will group them into some 360s, which you can watch at the end of the video. So now I am heading into a new 100 miniatures. This one will be a little different, maybe a little more difficult, because other than these... Uh, these Necromunda figures I got right here, Ash Waste guys, I don't have a lot of groups. Like, I, I just about finished all of my uh, Special Ops and Modern figures, uh, which, which were actually, uh, you know, a lifesaver at certain points. So, I don't have a lot of groups to help me pad my numbers. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take figures like these, so I did not include these. 
that I was very close to completing and I just stopped working on them because of the challenge. I put all these aside. And so these I am going to finish up. I think I showed you guys in one of my other setup videos. I had that kind of painting painting uh, section on my table. So I'm going to throw in as many of those as I can to get it up to 100 finished. So these are not going to be 100 finished from Prime like I did with these. These are going to be 100 total miniatures that I can just say are finished. So hopefully that will that will allow me to get another 100 done. But, you know, if all goes well, I will probably finish these next Friday at this time. I mean, I never thought I would get finished in three days. I mean, it was just, you know, you shoot for a weekend and if you get them done in a week, hey, that, that's not bad either. You finished you know, a uh, hundred miniatures in seven days, that's averaging over 10 a day, more like 15 a day. And I mean finished. Uh, as I said in some of the shorts, these are, this is not just slapping uh, contrast paint on the figures. I mean, I could, I could have primed all these white and just went through with a hundred contrast paints or a bunch of washes and oils and inks, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to paint the miniatures and that's what we have here. So other than that, guys, like I said, I have 100 down and I have 100 more to go. And so once I finish that, then I kind of think, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I was, I was about to say, I kind of think I, I will be, I will, I will be kind of caught up. But the reality is, yeah, I just got a lot of backed up miniatures. So if I if I if, if if I feel as good after after the second one as I do now, then I will try to do a third and a fourth. Uh then see if I can knock out a total of four hundred. I did that once during twenty twenty, but of course during twenty twenty you couldn't do anything else but stay in. So but if I could now if I could get that, if I could get a total of four hundred over the next what's this, two, three Three or four weeks, so maybe by the end of Christmas, if I can have a total of 400 miniatures painted and off my table, then I will actually think I could go into the, the new year pretty much, pretty much set. So and what I would probably do from that point is as I open blisters, I will just paint them instead of opening stuff priming a hundred miniatures and then letting them sit there. Now, obviously there's a reason I do that because I can save on primer and things like that. So I'm not promising that that's what I'll do, but maybe it might be make a lot more sense to just do these as I open them, as I base them and clean them up and then just paint them. Uh, even if I'm just going to do 10 at a time. So but that is where we're at. I, I wanted to give you guys a final report. I know a lot of the last few of these that I did, you know, I, I wound up finishing them, so to speak, but it was months later and I never kind of got back with you guys. So uh, this is that final report. So I hope you guys enjoyed the turnaround. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the miniatures, put them in the comments. And if it's something I can answer, I will do that. Take care and God bless.